Hello everyone, my name is Magicson and welcome to the fourth part in my slime fun tutorial series. So today we will be talking about uh, basic energy generation and uh, ways to generate energy. So um, to make an energy network, you'll need an energy regulator. Uh, this is a core component in an energy network and without it you can't you can't generate energy and use it. So to make one, you will need four silver ingots, uh, four Damascus steel, and one electric motor. Uh, and it's made in an enhanced crafting table. As you can see, right over here. And we can just plop it down over here. And it says no energy network found, because there is uh there isn't any generators or uh ener energy capacitors uh, next to it so uh to fix that you'll need a coal generator or any generator really a coal generator is made using uh, two heating coils uh, one furnace one electric motor and three nickel ingots so you can just go ahead and craft it over here, like this, in an enhanced crafting table. And now we have a coal generator. We can now put it either here, or here, or here. It just has to be on the same line, uh, not diagonally, uh, with the energy regulator. And now it says uh, that there is uh, zero jolts in the energy network. So, uh, to get jolts in the energy network, you will need to input something in the blue uh, area. And uh, the coal generator can uh, take different kind of, uh, kinds of blocks. I'm going to be using uh, coal blocks, uh, but you can get the full list right over here. As you can see, basically anything that burns. And uh, now you can see it's going up. But because we don't have a capacitor, none of the power is being saved. So uh, we need to fix that. And uh, yeah, here you can. Uh now, to make sure that the power is being saved, we will need an energy capacitor, like I said before. Um, at the start, you'll need uh, use a small energy capacitor uh, because they're needed uh, to make the upgrades. You can see uh, here you can see all the upgrades: uh, medium, big, large, and carbonate edged. Um, and the crafting recipes get harder and harder with each one. But to make a small one, uh, you'll need four duralumin ingots, two redstone alloy ingots, two redstone, and one sulfate. So, just like this, we get the small energy capacitor, and now we can start saving the power in our energy uh, network. So we can also put it here, 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 or here. I'm just gonna put it over here, and as you can see, it's going up right now. Um, and there is a bug that. Uh, it doesn't show how much energy we have. I'm gonna break it real fast. Yeah, now we can see how much energy we have in our energy uh, network. But it's uh, still going down to 128 because that's the amount of power we are able to save right now into this small energy capacitor. Uh, we can uh, make it amount larger by using uh, upgraded energy capacitors or we can just put down more. So I'm gonna show you how to, you know, what you can do with a basic energy network. Uh, so you can either uh, put down more capacitors, and uh, now the I'm gonna just break it real fast oh. uh, to show you how much energy we have. As you can see, oh, it broke again. Um, no way, doing this. Well, the energy network is working, as you can see. The power is uh, going up, and we can use the power 
uh, for an instant in an electric furnace. So we can put in some raw pork chop. And as you can see, it's getting cooked now. Now to see how much uh, energy is being provided into the machine, uh, you'll need a multimeter for that. So to make a multimeter, you will need two copper ingots, one that's an alloy ingot, and uh, one six carat gold ingot. And if you just craft in an enhanced crafting table, a multimeter is made. So now we can check uh, how much energy we have in our, uh, our electric furnace. Uh, so as you can see, stored energy is 64 volts, capacity is 64 volts. So that means it's working fine and uh, it's getting all the power it needs. Um, but now if we were to break this uh, generator and these capacitors, Uh, we're gonna start running out of power really soon now. We can actually just break this one as well. And now as you can see, it has uh, 52 chults of stored energy. It's gonna start going down as it uh, is working. So that's the basic energy network. Uh, all you will need is a capacitor, generator and a regulator. Um, I'd recommend going for the coal generator first and uh, small energy capacitor first. Um, so yeah. Oh, you can also uh, have multiple generators in one energy network. So uh, you will just generate a lot more power this way. So now we're going to talk about the different generators you can use to generate power for your energy network. Uh, the first one we will be talking about is the solar generator. It's made like this, three solar panels, uh, three aluminum uh, ingots, and one electric motor in a crafting table like this, enhanced crafting table. And as you can see, solar generator is made. So a uh, basic uh, solar generator generates uh, four joules per second, but since it doesn't need any fuel, uh, because it uses uh, the sun uh, to generate power it's uh, actually pretty good especially ha if you have multiple of them or if you up upgrade them into an advanced solar generator carbon nato solar generator or even an energized solar generator which is actually really good from my opinion because it also works at night of course that's why uh, these ones don't work at night so that's just something to keep in mind that maybe we will need a strong capacitor if you want to rely only on solar generators because you need to work through the night uh, using the energy you generated during the day. Um, I actually recommend them. Uh, the only minus is yeah, because uh, that they don't work at night. Um, but if you get an energy solar generator, which is kind of hard to craft, um, you know, you will. You don't have to worry about that much. Uh, uh, don't have to worry about uh, fueling your generators that much. So yeah, it's decent. Uh, up to you, really, if you want to use them or not. Uh, now we're gonna talk about the bioreactor. Uh, the bioreactor uh, is made uh, using two heating coils, one composter. Uh, three aluminum brass ingots and one electric motor in uh, in an enhanced crafting table uh, like this as you can see a bioreactor it generates two, uh, eight shells per second and it uses uh, biomass to do that you can see all the items that can be, can be used uh, in a bioreactor right over here in the slime from guide and um, for my opinion it's good for a secondary generator uh, because you can just throw uh, all of your uh, you know leftover organic stuff in there maybe if you have like a spider farm you can put your spider eyes in there that you don't need um, or maybe a melon farm so yeah you can use it but i normally don't go for it because i just don't have 
like uh, mid game I just don't have that much organic stuff left over to fuel my energy networks uh, but if you think you can fuel it uh, you can go for it it's okay so yeah that's a bio reactor uh, now we have the lava generator and this I will actually consider as a replacement for the coal generator um, it's up to you really the thing is that you know you can uh, put stackable items in the coal generator but not in the lava generator because it only works on lava and it's made using uh, 116 karat gold ingot 3 damascus steel ingots 1 electric motor and 2 heating coils and um, it's okay uh, since yeah you you can only put two buckets of lava in the generator but it generates 12 uh, 20 shells per second which is pretty good and it also has a decent uh, buffer and as you can see a uh, bucket of lava lasts uh, 40 seconds in the lava generator so f from one bucket of lava you will generate 18 uh, 800 shells uh, in total so up to you uh, if you want to use it or not you'll just with a nether maybe uh, if you ha happen to have a nether base it's definitely uh, uh, good too uh, but in the overworld constantly fueling it uh, with lava may become a little tedious uh, so you can also just have a capacitor and like um, you know just fill the cap capacitor up uh, using the lava generator uh, but yeah, up to you really, if you want to use it or not. So yeah, that's the lava generator. So now we have the combustion reactor. Uh, the combustion reactor is made using uh, four steel ingots, one electric motor and two heating coils. And uh, it's fueled by oil and buckets of fuel. Now for oil and buckets of fuel you will need a gps uh, network that we will be talking about in the next video um which means you won't have it early game but it generates quite a good amount of power 24 joules per second and right over here you can see a uh, bucket of fuel lasts one minute 30 seconds it generates a total of uh, 2k joules in total and a bucket of oil generates uh, uh, 720 jolts uh, in total because it lasts last 30 seconds um it's actually pretty decent if you have a um, lot of oil uh, laying around uh, but you'll need a um, gps uh, network like i said before uh, to even get oil so Again, up to you. If you have a GPS network and you have a lot of oil laying around, I definitely recommend it because the amount of uh, power you can get from it is really good. Uh, you will, of course, need a better um, capacitor for all of this power. If you don't, of course, have uh, like a lot of machines that are constantly taking all of your power, uh, so you don't have to worry about uh, storing it up somewhere. But it's still good to have a, a stronger capacitor if you're generating more power. Um, so yeah, if you want to go for it, go for it. Uh, I, I personally uh, don't have so much fuel normally lying around, so I don't use it that much. Uh, but if you do, go for it. Okay, so now we can talk about the nuclear reactor. Now, before we do anything with this, we will need the hazmat suit uh, that we talked about in the last uh, tutorial video uh, that you can check out uh, on my channel. So, uh, why we need the hazmat suit is because we will be uh, working with uh, radiator, radi radioactive uh, materials. And to make the nuclear reactor, you will need uh, two blistering ingots, one carbonado-edged energy capacitor, 
three reinforced plates, two lead ingots, and one cooling unit. So as you can see, it's definitely an end game uh, generator. So we can just come here and craft it. Our nuclear reactor. Now, as you can see, it must be surrounded by water and must be supplied with reactor coolant cells. And it generates 500 shots per second, which is awesome, to be honest. Uh, you will definitely need a good capacitor, though. A uh, carbonate edged capacitor, to be exact. Uh, or you just can out input it all into your machines. But, like I said, always better to have a strong capacitor if you're working with the really strong generators. So, uh, this is the basically like the layout for our nuclear reactor. The bottom block doesn't matter. I'm using glowstone because the water uh, wanted to freeze. The side blocks don't matter as well. Uh, but you will need uh, uh, water all around it. Like this. So, this is basically what you will need. Uh, water on all sides, the di diagonals as well, and the generator in the middle. And now it can be filled by uranium, uh, neptunium, boosted uranium, or yeah, uranium. So uh, something really important about the generator, uh, nuclear generators, because there's two of them. Always put your coolant in first, uh, because if you don't put in your coolant, it's gonna explode. It's gonna fry your uh, energy network. And it's going to destroy the uh, generator, which is really not awesome. So first, uh, always put in your uh, coolant cells over here. And then you can use your uranium over here. And now it's going to start generating power. Uh, but since we don't have a regulator, uh, it's not going to do it. There's just nowhere to output the power. Uh, because there's no energy uh, network. Um, yeah, it's awesome. If you have like a, a lot of machines running, you can probably all, fill on to all of them uh, using one nuclear reactor, uh, but still use a capacitor, a strong one. So now the last generator in Slime Fun is the Nether Star Reactor. Uh, this is basically the nuclear generator, uh, reactor, sorry, uh, but it only works on Nether Stars. Uh, so, it's made using two boosted uranium, one carbonado edge, the energy capacitor, uh, three reinforced plates, two Corinthian bronze, and one other star. Um, it's pretty expensive, and since it works only on nether stars, you have to make sure you either have a lot of nether stars, somehow, or you have a wither assembler. Um, which I will be hopefully talking about uh, in the following videos. So as you can see, it outputs 1000 jolts per second. It's the best generator in the game. And it works on nether stars. And the coolant you must use is netherized coolant cells. And what it also does, it uh, causes nearby entities to get withered. So, uh, there's a 5 block radius, if you are uh, behind this red line, you will be fine, but as soon as you step on it, you will get the other effect. So as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, blocks. And it's in a radius, it goes up, down, that's right. You know. So, if you just plop it down, uh, coolant always first, uh, to the nether stars, one nether star, um, Actually, uh, uh, lasts uh, 30 minutes, so that's 1 million shots in total. Um, but, you know, nether stars, they aren't the easiest thing to get. So we will definitely need like a capacitor as well, to make sure that all of this power doesn't go to waste. Okay, so if we just power this thing up. Yep, we got the wither effect, it's gonna last a bit. And as you can see, we're already generating like a lot of power. And 
that uh, little percent uh, shows you how much co um, how well is the reactor cooled and it uses the same layout as the uh, normal nuclear reactor so yeah that's the uh, nether star reactor um, but as you know you will need to provide it with coolant constantly so to make sure that it doesn't blow up uh, you will uh, yeah you need to uh, provide coolant but since you get the wither effect uh, there's actually a separate block called the um, reactor access port so it's made using one blistering ingot, uh, two lead ingots, one cargo motor and one electric motor uh, so this is basically like the best layout for another star reactor to make sure that you don't get withered um, and you have to place the new, uh, reactor access port three blocks above the uh, reactor that you're using so um, I'm just gonna oh I'll place coolant first of course and now the nether stars we still get the wither effect but um, we can just access it from over here um, uh, so yeah, that's the access port. Not really useful. It's pretty expensive, and you know the wither effect that you get from the generator. Oh, isn't too bad. Um, just have to make sure that you don't actually die from it. So yeah, these are all the generators in Slime Fun. Um, thanks for watching. Oh, I'm invisible apparently. Well, <laughs> um. If you liked the video, uh, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike and tell me why you didn't like the video in the comments. Because I'm trying to improve constantly. And subscribe if you want to see more Slime Fun content and Minecraft content in general. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, see ya.